Oh, you guys like do the YouTube thing? Yes. Yeah. So okay. And is it like CJ mowing YouTube? You did it for free? Yeah, that she told me. She, oh my God, That's mercy, why. miracle. It was suggested to us by one of our subscribers that we should maybe... It's about time people are cutting this grass because I've been scared snakes were in here. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. You too. I'll definitely do a subscribe and give you a follow. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. See if the people's home, this one looks pretty overgrown. Hi. Hi. Um, we have a lawn service and we go around and we look for overgrown lawns like this and we mow them for free. Okay. Is it okay if we mow your lawn? Um, sure. Okay. Thank you. We do film it, the process of mowing it um, before, before, during, and after. Yeah. Um, we put the content online. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh -huh. I have noticed that there is some trash in the yard, and hopefully, the zero turn. We got to look to see if the zero turn will fit in the backyard. Oh, I would even check. There it looks like there's two uh, fences on each side. That one doesn't look like it, does it? Let's take a look. <laughs> you asked about doing the property before you had a chance to look at the backyard. <laughs> I know. So this is wide enough to fit the zero turn in though. Yeah, we have to get it to where it opens up all the way. Whoa, this house is, oh. Oh, I thought. There is a tree down back here. There's no way we'll be able to get the whole thing. But I think we should start in the front and then come back here and pick up some of the limbs and stuff so we can come back here because it looks like there's a lot of limbs down too. Wow. <laughs> it's growing through the fence. What is this? I've never seen that before. Oh wait, no, they put that there like that, it looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's screwed like, in. What? Like, how I is it? it was growing through the fence. Just around any trash as I'm walking up here. So I think what we're gonna do on this property is, and we haven't done this on a property before, it was suggested to us by one of our subscribers that we should maybe do a two-part video. Um, I think that what we'll go ahead and do is do the front yard on this today, the before and after transformation for it, and then tackle that backyard next week. But the backyard, there's a lot back there you guys seen that um there's a lot right here in the front yard so i'm really not sure that we would have enough time to get everything down so we'll probably go ahead and do uh, the front yard here today and then next week we'll go ahead and tackle the backyard here by the school speed limit sign thing yeah. here flashing light there's already branches and all that grass there uh -huh. so we could just take the branches that we're going to get and put over here i mean i don't think they're going to hopefully not get high enough to cover up the blinky sign <laughs> <laughs> i don't think so for right now but no that's a good idea if they already have a spot right there but maybe it wasn't big enough for the this city to notice that it was there maybe they didn't, couldn't see it because yeah. of how overgrown the yard is that's true yeah 
Have you seen any more trash over here? I haven't seen any trash, but I have noticed how thick this grass is in this area. Like it's yeah, it looks pretty dang thick. It's so it's like laying. It's it's taking a nap. It's laying down. Yeah. <laughs> Been here so long. It's tired from standing up. It's laying down, taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I got all the trash in the front yard. I think if you don't see any over here. I haven't looked right over in here, but from where I've been going, I haven't seen any. What's up? Something looks orange right there. The weed eater? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> yeah. They're <laughs> oh, crawling on me.
You got a big smile on your wow, face. Hey. <laughs> I'm very happy. Eh? Look, mira qué bonito. Ya hablaste con ella. Ah, it's my wife. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you did that. I mean, yeah, we have to come back next week to get the other part right there. We gotta make sure we have a chain for our chain. I hope that at least they say thank you to you. When you do this, you gotta be careful. Oh, yeah. That tree fell down and going almost all the way the other side of my house. We do this for free. Yeah. You did it for free? Yeah, that mm -hmm. she told me. She said, oh my God, That's mercy, why. miracle. <laughs> no, no, then is this way? Yep. We come oh. around and look for a grass like this that's high I mean, and needs, that's somebody is probably needs help. I, I didn't did did many things They didn't need any help. They didn't want to pay no one. It can be easy. Some, some, you understand? Yeah. Okay? But we didn't, my English is very bad. Yeah. That's I understand. I, but uh, <laughs> but uh, no. I, I told her, I, I held you. I, I gotta go. I, we have to do something. <laughs> we used to, this is the fence, and we put this just to because to prevent I, those to come. I seen out. this, and I was thinking that yeah. that you was put that up yeah. there just so in case snakes will try to yeah. make it through. Yeah. Yeah. You want something to drink? Oh, that would be nice. I am really thirsty. You want water, or you want us? Uh, I had ginger ale. Uh, water spice. Oh, thank you mm -hmm. so much. Tasty. I grow a ginger ale because I know some people like ginger ale. Yeah. And a ginger ale if you want it. Drinks? Thank you. You're very welcome. You, you know. Des you deserve more than that, but I don't have anything else. <laughs> <laughs> you were the first people that has ever offered us a drink while doing any of this work. Really? Yes. Okay. Anyway, thank you very much. much. My thank you. Um, yes, thank you. Ginger ale and ginger ale. Yeah. Thank you. It's free. You're welcome. You did nothing. You did. You gave us some water. That, yeah. that it's helped. Free. That helped us. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to say thank you. So, almost, almost, almost there. You spoke to some people around here. What, how was that? Um, I first spoke to the neighbor to the right. She just had the happiest look on her face. Oh, really? She was just grinning. And so I had to come over and talk to her because I knew it was because the lawn over here was getting done. Well, see, the guy, her son or grandson, whoever, the guy, he came, he was in the white van and he drove by and he looked like locked eyes with me. Like When he came home in the white van, the grandfather or father, whichever. Oh gosh, we've got the league night. You're, <laughs> You're like son, uh, grandson, yes. grandfather. I mean, I looked over and all I saw was like from ear to ear and him just... Okay. He was so happy <laughs> and I had to go around like I said you just smiling from ear to ear and he's and he was just explaining and he was just so happy yeah well I guess it hasn't been mowed in months yeah the kids on the even the kids on the left side were talking about how they were scared snakes were gonna are in the yard and and that they're glad that we're mowing the yard and how good of a job we're doing and stuff 
I thought I heard that little girl say it's about time. Yeah, she said it's about time somebody's mowing his grass. Well, and it's right here on another busy road with a lot of cars going by, but that's because the school is right here. High school, again. Yep. <laughs> so oh, so we've seen the, the runners, right? Yeah. Maybe that's the band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. No. -uh. Yes, it is. Uh, uh What is the instrument? Is that a tuba? It looks like a tuba. Well, but we've seen the band. Like, yeah. Heard the band, now seen, seen the, band. the band. Yeah. Uh, and the runners went by. Runners. Uh-huh. I saw you smiling. You asked if I was reminiscing. Okay, yeah. <laughs> when you were in high school, did you run around here? Yes. Run the streets? Yep, ran the streets. <laughs> If you enjoy this content that we provide whenever we sit and have these little chats, a lot of people say that they do, then be sure that you do stick around for the end of the video because we have even more of that, but more geared toward um, the Halloween season. Spooky, spooky. Spooky, spooky. But for me, I had an overwhelming sense of being lost. and. Yeah. Don't interact with it because it's a demon. Y'all recording something? Uh, us. Us. No, I'm saying, can I walk that? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, oh. it's this way. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. They know I'm looking forward to my birthday. birthday. Somebody's birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So how old are you turning? A lady never tells. I was hoping you were going to say that. <laughs> lady never reveals her age. <laughs> According to this guy over here, I'm your, uh, your, uh, I'm your grandmother. <laughs> really? <laughs> I looked at him, I'm like, how old do I look? Like, how old do I look? Like, months ago, everyone, before, like, it was known that we were mother and son. I mean, the constant in there, you and your wife, you and your wife. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> <laughs> well, forget that. So, are you ready? Yep. You are ready. Ready! I'm gonna get this done. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're usually not ready. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's go. All right. Whew. It was so hot to be out here in the sun like this, running in this hot heat. Here comes some more. Flashbacks to your high school days? I know, right? <laughs>
what we do is we go out once a week and uh -huh. we provide free lawn care to overgrown oh, properties. Oh, you guys like do the YouTube thing? Yes. So, okay. And is it like CJ mowing YouTube? Yes. I get that. I, I mean, I've seen I've seen a few videos like that where people go around. Yeah, I, I follow a few people like that on Instagram and stuff like that. That's pretty interesting. I think it's pretty cool that people do that, you know? Yeah. Take their time and go help people out like that. Because a lot of people can't really afford to get their stuff cut. Yeah. And it, it just overgrows. But, I mean, he used to he used to cut their lawn, but then he stopped. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. Like I said, I used to maintain, I used to try to maintain mine. I mean, I do landscaping for a living myself. I, I'm, a, I'm a foreman. I just got off myself. Like I said, I used to try to maintain it, you know, every every other week or so when I when I'm off of work. Yeah, I, I hate doing it. like I hate having to come home and having to do it right after I. But you know, it is I have to do it. I have to do it. But that's pretty cool. Yeah, and, like I said, you are CJ mowing. Like if I go on YouTube, I'll, I'll subscribe too, man. Definitely. Like I really appreciate you guys taking care of their yard. It looks awesome. All right. Appreciate All right. It. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. I'm definitely gonna subscribe and give you a follow. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. We are done with our fifth and final video for October. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> um, so uh, don't forget to subscribe to CJ Mowing if you haven't already and congratulations to us. Big huge pat on the back. 25,000 subscribers and you guys made that possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we have some additional content for you, uh, special for the people, the folks who uh, say that they love uh, our break times or our chit chat or just whenever my mom and I interact with each other. So stay tuned for that and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love This is all we got Show me life, show me love This is all we got Show me love this is all we got Show me up Show me love
to the ground But I know you will turn it around Oh, this is all we got And I know you will make a stay Get into fears and lose your way We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love This is all we got Show me life, show me love This is all we got This is all up your alley. What are you gonna do? Well, once we get in there, I wanna pull out my ghost app and see if there's any uh, ghosts lingering around. You have a ghost app? Yeah. <laughs> what? You wanna walk in there? There's a big window there. It's not usually a big window in a bathroom, so I don't know. Like that. Well, I have this app that we can uh, listen, being in the spirit of Halloween. We can see if this house that looks, looks haunted, but I don't know if it is. We can see if it has anything to say. Steps though. Do you trust him? I don't know. <laughs> Look, there's two sets of stairs. You go here and then back up there. So there's a church that is about um, two blocks from here. And the fire station is... What happened? It says I like to play games. They say if a spirit ever says that, don't interact with it because it's a demon. Ooh, what are you doing? I'm just saying, that's what they say. with us to Coon Hill, did you? No, I had to work. 
That is a cemetery that is in the Panhandle that I went to in my early 20s. I believe it was my early 20s. And we went and there was four of us. Someone wanted to go and so we took the, I don't know how long of a drive it was, like seemed like it was like three hours to get up into the panhandle and then almost like 30 or 45 minutes off the main road to get to the cemetery which was in the middle of the night it was kind of weird but there were a group of people that were going there uh, from what I remember and um, the thing that I remember about it is the gates at the cemetery it's dark everyone's kind of parked off of this dirt road and we go to it and suddenly like we get out of the car and start walking toward the cemetery and the mood completely changed. Yeah, that's what they say about haunted places that you can feel it. If, if it's haunted, you can feel it. That was the thing. It was like you could feel the energy, everything just completely changed. It's like you didn't, you didn't have any control over it at all. And the, the feeling that I felt, like we, we were excited to go, but then once we got there, um, there was this overwhelming sense of being lost. Like I knew I wasn't lost, but I felt kind of lost. Like I didn't know like where exactly to go or what to do, but I also knew that I knew where I was at. And it was a really weird feeling. And so we were there for maybe a couple of hours. People were taking pictures. They were doing like voice recordings and things like that. EVPs. They, yeah, EVPs. And um, it, it, the, the presence of that feeling got so heavy inside of that cemetery that we, the four of us, decided to leave. And when we left, we got back in the car. And as soon as we started driving down the dirt road to get away, it was like we left a cloud. Mm -hmm. Like there was something that was there and it's like we left a cloud and something was lifted off of us and yep. we everyone immediately felt like better i hear a lot of these paranormal uh channels say that as soon as they leave like they're in some of them they're like sick like literally puking i've seen some yeah. of them puking black stuff so from louisiana that one was in louisiana okay and they say as soon as they leave the area that is haunted, mm -hmm. they can they they all of a sudden start feeling better. They they, they don't feel sick anymore. Yeah. So um, one of the guys that was with us, uh, he actually started feeling nauseous and sick, and um, that didn't happen. And there was no like throwing up of any kind of like black anything or anything like that but just the feeling of nauseousness like everyone had kind of a different i think experience with it but for me i had an overwhelming sense of being lost and that was interesting as i was thinking about it because that cemetery being so far away from anything like get trying to get to it and there's like no civilization around it it's almost like in and of itself it is a lost cemetery like, I, I don't know how you'd be able to find it if you didn't have an address and know where it was at. So, um, yeah, every, everyone everyone kind of like walked away with their own experience from it. And that's the only real, I think, what I would claim to be any sense of a paranormal activity that I've had that I, I felt something yeah. from it. So, so what about the photos that you took? The photos? Um, well, I mean, w when you're taking photos, um, because... It just the lighting. I mean, they call them orbs. Um, again, this is back when I was in my early 20s. They call them orbs and things like that. But you can capture that just by like taking a picture in your house, like or anywhere, like just something, a speck of dust here or there. Like you, you can get that. And like for me personally, I found that maybe that's kind of over sensationalized about an orb. It could be true. It could not be true. I don't know. But it's not for me like to like the speaker say what other people's experiences are but for me in those photos yes there were orbs but i don't know if it were was anything i didn't i didn't see anything i think someone said they seen a little girl but yeah i remember you saying something about that yeah you and never they, told me this other part though which part about feeling lost oh yeah um but someone said that they they had seen a little girl um and i did hear the kids like 
like a humming or like a like a like they were singing or humming yeah like just a sense of a, a kid wandering around just making noises and there were no kids there but by kids i mean like like yeah like under 10 years of age so i i didn't there were no kids that were there um people kind of like went off into their own groups no one was really because there was recording going on no mm -hmm. one was like trying to like fake it, people were like serious about the situation and they wanted to, you know, see if they could capture something that was the whole reason for everyone getting together and going there was to see if they could capture something that was paranormal. I mean, at the time I didn't really know anything and I still don't really know a lot about the paranormal. Um, I really wanted to go and my job wouldn't let me. They, nope, they wouldn't give me the time off. Well, but um, the only, I think the only thing that you missed maybe was the car ride and everything that ha <laughs> happened like in the car ride, like just the, the talking and conversing and all of that. But as far as being there, it was a, like for me and for other people, it was a, a weighted feeling. But I don't know, maybe some people would want to feel that. Like some people would want to feel that just to have experienced it, to maybe know. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask you, what does Halloween mean to you? Like for some people, it's it's their favorite holiday. For some people, Halloween is their favorite holiday. I know. Over Christmas. Over Christmas. Um, some people don't celebrate Halloween or Christmas. Yeah. Which is fine. But what does Halloween mean to you? Um, I know when I was a kid, I loved dressing up and going out and getting candy. <laughs> <laughs> I want something sweet. <laughs> exactly. That's how it was when I was a kid. But the older I got, I just... Don't smell my feet, give me something sweet. How does that go? Trick, Trick or, or treat, treat, smell my feet, give me something okay. good to eat. <laughs> yeah. So, you were a kid. Was it like that with your, uh, with your siblings also? I think so. I mean, they would dress up and we'd all go out. I think the older we got, the more we got to where we didn't really go trick or treating or we didn't live close to areas that people would pass out candy so we got to the point to where we wouldn't even trick-or-treat because we lived out in the middle of nowhere now you've told me before uh speaking of um cemeteries and <laughs> speaking of cemeteries and speaking of uh halloween and things like that you and your siblings would play somewhere Oh yeah, yes, yes we did. I, that, that was up in Ohio. Yeah. And we would play in the graveyard at nighttime. We would play hide and seek. And I literally myself would lay on someone's grave and lay flat so that I, I couldn't be seen. How old were you? Probably about five, six, seven at the most. I'm thinking five, more of five, six. And you remember this? Mm -hmm. Laying on the graveyards. Yep. Playing at night. Why at night? Like you could play anytime. You've got daytime playtime. Because daytime playtime. But like at night? At nighttime, it's harder to find people in the dark. And you like no concern whatsoever about this idea of graveyards, the dead, no, like nothing spooky or eerie about that. It's just like no, because at that point... How many of you were running around? There were six of us. Six of you running around? And sometimes some of the neighbor kids would come in and get in. And involved? Yes. But I think at that point, I had never experienced anybody in my life dying. It was before my grandfather died. He died when I was eight. So I think at that point, I never experienced any kind of death to me. So I never... Like was scared of it. I would we'd just go. That would be some place we'd just go play. Well, death aside, nighttime for kids, and you said you lived in the middle of nowhere. No, 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 no. This was in Ohio. We lived in town, in, in, a, in a city, and when we lived in Ohio. Ah, in Ohio. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. I think you told me about this. What street was it on? Oh no, that wasn't that street. Oh. That was like Sixth Street, or um, I forget what street it was that we lived on. I was young. I, I just remember going to the graveyard. It was down the street. We lived right down the street. And my mom would come yelling at us and we could hear her from the from the door because we wasn't that far from the graveyard. We didn't live that far from the graveyard. Ding, 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 ding. Get your butts back home. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we, we get yelled at. <laughs> what are y'all doing over there? But 
We were over there playing hide and seek. And that's um, Mound Cemetery. It's called Mound Cemetery. It's where they have a big mound where Indians were, I think, buried in the mound. And they, on top of the mound, it's a big, long, I mean, a big, a long walk up to the top. I mean, not real, real long, but, you know, long enough. Especially if you're a flat footer like us being down here. Flat footer is something I didn't hear until going up north. Yes. Um, there is a cat out there. Is it black? It is black, <laughs> but it's got white on it also. Oh. It's right down there. Now it looked over here, it heard you. <laughs> but um, yeah, we, we went around there. So that was, that was fun. So that's... Yeah. At the top of the mound, there is a time capsule inside. I was gonna ask you about that because I think like when we went up there, this is in Ohio? Mm -hmm. Because I think we went around Ohio. I don't know if it was Ohio or Arkansas where we were at when we went around. There was a time capsule somewhere, I remember. It was in Ohio. Oh. Well, uh, I mean, I think at nighttime, this place would be pretty eerie and creepy, but in the yeah. daytime, I mean, I guess it still is kind of pretty creepy, but I don't, I don't, subscribe to the idea of too much of anything paranormal even though I've had my own experiences or whatever but I think that that's something that exists that in a lot of cases you can invite in I don't want to invite nothing in because you can well you ready to go yep yeah uh -huh. <laughs> well let's go ahead and go before we invite something in I know I've been getting some strange things on my ghost house <laughs> All right, well, let's go. All right. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween! We hope you enjoyed this additional footage, and we will see you on the next one.